Hi, my name is Angela Connell Richards. I am the owner and director of Vivacity RTO Coaching and Consulting. We've been helping training organizations to get compliant, save time and save money since 2009. You've most really got to this video training through my latest ebook, How to Hire Your First RTO VA. It's an area where there's, it's booming, in particular with our current crisis, with unemployment being at its lowest that it has been for a very long time. So let's get started. Job vacancies are at a record high, but where are all the candidates? It is predicted that the unemployment rate could reach 2.9%. Some economists think this is actually possible. Unemployment is at an all-time low and job vacancies are at an all-time high. Look at these statistics. It has been a massive impact not only in Australia but around the world. And these statistics have come from the Australian Bureau of Statistics. What do we do about it? So what does this mean for your RTO? You may need to recruit elsewhere, but where? That's where How to Hire Your First RTO VA came to fruition for me. I thought, well, we've been hiring virtual assistants for five years now, and I thought I'd give you some of my learnings of what I've learned about hiring a VA, and it's not as easy as it may think, you may think. When it's time to take your RTO to the next level, the natural first steps is to hire people outside of your organisation or outside of what you do. This can include a virtual assistant. A virtual assistant is a service provider who takes over some of the aspects of your RTO. They're virtual because they don't work in your office, but they work at a, a remote location where you're in touch with them through the internet. With your virtual assistant, you can start growing and scaling your RTO and taking it to new places. What prompts many RTO owners to hire their first RTO virtual assistant is the desire to get rid of simple but tedious tasks that slow down their workday. These are most often routine tasks that anyone can do. If you can outsource them to a professional remotely, you'll have more time to focus on what counts within your RTO. Virtual assistant can also help you to eliminate tasks you hate doing. Although this shouldn't be the sole reason why you should hire a VA. You can remove stressful tasks or ones that you're not great at. But hiring a virtual assistant doesn't just help you free up time in your schedule. It also allows you to achieve more than you could on your own. Your VA might have the skills that you don't have. They may be able to accomplish the tasks you delegate to them more quickly and efficiently than you can. A VA can save you time and money. Finally, hiring a virtual assistant allows your RTO to start growing. If business is picking up, you may be struggling to keep up with everything by yourself or even your team may be struggling. You might find yourself at your maximum capacity and unable to earn more. You may have new needs for your RTO in order for it to grow. Your RTO VA can be the missing piece for the growth of your RTO. Next, are you ready to hire a virtual assistant? Ask yourself, in what areas are you struggling within your RTO? Are there any tasks you could delegate or outsource to be more productive? What keeps you awake at night? Are you experiencing growing pains where an assistant might be able to help? Do you have the means to an assistant? Outside help. If so, what worked and what didn't work? form a variety of tasks each day, probably much more than you realise. Now is the time to think about how you fill up your time so you can make decisions about what to delegate to your virtual assistant. Make a detailed list of every activity you regularly carry out. These could be daily tasks or tasks you have to deal with on a weekly and monthly basis. 
Start with the beginning of your day and visualize each thing that is related to your RTO. Once you have an exhaustive list, it's time to narrow it down to the things you can do or should be delegating. Not every task is appropriate for outsourcing. You want to make sure that you are picking the right tasks for your VA. Easy tasks. These are tasks that virtually anybody could do. They don't require your unique skills or expert expertise. For example, if you are a writer, you can't outsource the actual writing of your training and assessment materials, but you could outsource related tasks like content planning, researching, and proofreading. Tasks you don't like. You shouldn't outsource a task simply because you don't like it. But if you can get rid of those tasks that you're doing that you don't like doing, this can significantly reduce your stress and improve your workday. For example, you may ha hate actually posting your blog posts. You can hire a virtual assistant to take your content and put it in your blog post. They can easily work out the formatting, tagging, and managing images. Weak skills. If you outsource tasks that you're not particularly good at, you remove a troublesome task from your day, and you also might find who can do it better for you. For example, it might take you hours to build a simple training and assessment strategy, and it still doesn't look right. You could hire a virtual assistant who can create great looking uh, training and assessment strategies in much shorter time than you can. Time drains. Any task that takes a great deal of time out of your schedule when you could be handling more high level or people oriented tasks is a great choice, choice for outsourcing. You may want to perform a time audit to see what you actually spend your time on each day. The results may surprise you. Choose a routine task that's hogging up a great deal of your time and find someone else to do it for you. Keep all of this in mind as you narrow down your list. Choose tasks to delegate based on the overall benefits of outsourcing them uh, for your RTO. Be careful not to delegate core RTO processes or anything that requires a great deal of trust when handling confidential information. Tasks that put virtual assistants on the front line and in direct contact with customers and clients is possible, but your VA needs to be thoroughly trained and have a good understanding of your RTO and the services that you provide. Processes or tasks where one small mistake could have huge repercussions. There are a variety of tasks that your RTO VA could do. They could assist you within your RTO from training and assessment strategies to social media marketing. A mistake many RTO owners make, which leads to disappointment, is thinking that one person can do all of these tasks. Think for a minute. If you're great at data entry, research and development, you might not be so good at graphic design or video editing. It's a completely different skill set. That's why it's vital to get really specific on what you want your VA to do before you go anywhere near posting an ad. Once trained, you could have a VA developing all of your training and assessment strategies, including undertaking the tedious task of industry consultation, collating feedback from students and industry to include within your training and assessment strategy. Another important task is collating all of the evidence of qualifications and professional development from your trainers and assessors and creating a trainer's matrix. Developing your delivery and assessment plan as well as your session plans based on your training and assessment material. Your VA could also work with your trainers to refine the content within these documents. Another key drain on many RTOs is undertaking research of your industry sector, including the research required for your training and assessment strategy. Wouldn't it be great if you could delegate all your student management system tasks, having your VA set up all your online training and assessment, setting up your courses and enrolling your students? How many times have you been faced with a stack of enrollment forms that need to be entered into your student management system? 
Make it easy on all of your team by outsourcing these tedious tasks to a VA. Another task that I'm sure so many RTOs would like to outsource is government funding claims, which can be such a time waster, but so crucial to your RTO. So many RTOs have video content, especially since the pandemic, that is not being put to good use. You could outsource this task to your VA. You could edit your videos, add captions and titles, as well as improve the audio and video presentation of your videos. You may even have content that could be converted into promotional videos for your RTO, which is a great asset for promoting your RTO. How many times have you sat in a session where the presentation was, well, blah? Your virtual assistant could take your existing presentations and make them more engaging and on brand for your RTO, creating a consistent brand across all of your presentations in your RTO. Keeping on top of your social media marketing is another time consuming task that could easily be outsourced to your virtual assistant. They can also undertake research into your industry sector and produce engaging content based on what is happening within your industry right now. This will not only attract more students, but possibly more employers to your RTO. What else could your VA do for your RTO to reduce your workload? Make a list of all the regular tasks and processes you carry out. Go through your list and consider which items could be delegated to a virtual assistant. Challenge working with someone on the other side of the world. This is why you need to have standards that will make the work go more smoothly. A standard is a written document that your virtual assistant can learn from and refer to. It shows how the job is supposed to be done so that there's consistency. In addition to explaining the job step by step, it also might include best practices and tips for your VA. If you've been doing everything yourself up until now, you probably don't have written standards. Before hiring a virtual assistant, we highly recommend that you document your processes and have clear guidelines for how your VA should work. Go through each step and the tasks you may outsource and document each stage. Don't leave out anything. Even if you think it's obvious, it won't be obvious to your VA. As you know, working within an RTO is not the same as working in any other administration role. That's why it's very important that you are setting a standard to ensure that your VA is not only of quality, but is also meeting the requirements of the standards for RTOs. Once you have all the steps in place, decide how you'll present your VA. There are many ways to present this information to your VA. You can give them a written step-by-step -step instructions, or it may be better to present it in a flowchart or other visual aids. Choose the format that's easiest to understand. There are a number of tools that you can use to make sure that you are sharing your standards. You can use screen capture software to document a task by actually showing someone how to do it. You can also use productivity tools to share this content with your VA. Create a resource center that, can, that they can access at any time and they can refer to it at your standards. Steps. Take each task you want to delegate and write step-by-step -step instructions on how to complete that task. Decide on the best format for these standards and create content accordingly. When searching for a virtual assistant, you have to carefully vet your candidates to find the right person. After you post the ad, you'll make a huge list of candidates, check out each one, and then contact those who meet your qualifications and requirements. There are many ways to find applicants. You could do this through your business network, reaching out to others in your industry to see what they have done and what they would recommend. They may already have a virtual assistant working for them that may have be looking for more work. Referrals are the best way to find help. Social media, put a call out onto social media, especially LinkedIn. 
if you have followers on social media, there might already be someone out there who is a brand advocate for your organisation. VA service provider websites. Look at websites where service providers bid for jobs, such as Upwork or uh, 99. There's a few other uh, different types of platforms that you could go to. These sites often have detailed profiles along with ratings and comments from past clients so you can assess the applicants. You can post your job there. Online job boards. Post your job on online job boards. Look offline. Put an ad in an industry magazine or an offline job board. A great place to find virtual assistants is at local campuses where people are trying to get experience. Attend offline events and tell people you're looking for an assistant. Once you start getting applications and narrowing your list down to a few that look good, there are so many ways you can qualify your applicants. Conduct interviews where you talk to the applicant and get a fair feel for their personality and their abilities. If applicable, ask for samples or similar work to see the quality of the work that they do. Give the applicants a small test that helps them, helps you to assess their competency. Ask candidates to refer you to current clients or clients they're working for in the past. Contact these clients and ask about your candidate. Give your virtual assistant a trial period. You can also hire them for a one-time job and then offer them a VA position if they do it well. Decide where you'll advertise your virtual assistant. Choose a method or several methods to screen candidates who qualify. Hire a virtual assistant, you need an onboarding process to train them and bring them up to speed with what you do within your RTO. This systematic approach gets them started in an organized way and prevents some of the bumps in the road that you might experience. Onboarding could take weeks or months. The purpose is to get them off to a smooth start. The first purpose of onboarding is to share your RTO's core values so that your virtual assistant understands what your organisation is all about. They need to be on the same page as you and your team. This understanding of the core of your RTO influences everything your VA does and helps them to see the big picture of where they fit in. The bulk of onboarding is training. Through this process, you show the virtual assistant what they need to do to accomplish the task you're going to give them. It also means introducing them to tools and establishing communication protocols for when and how they, that you'll talk. The best way to plan for your onboarding is to put yourself in the VA's shoes. You know how the tasks need to be done. How do you convey it to them? Imagine that you're the VA and all you know is what was in the job ad. What more do you need to tell them about your company? Imagine that you don't know anything about the task they're supposed to handle. How would you explain it to them? Give your virtual assistant a range of activities to learn more about the training industry, such as getting them to research your competitors and industry sector so that they can learn and gain an understanding of what you do. A couple of other key websites are ASQA, training.gov.au and NCVR websites. ASQA has a range of training available on their website that covers a number of compliance areas. Also, the user guide to the standard is another great resource for your VA to research. Once you've trained your virtual assistant, Give them some tasks to get started right away so that they don't have to wait. Schedule regular communication sessions with them to follow up. Give them feedback and ask them what, whether they have any questions or concerns. Create an onboarding process where you explain your core values to the virtual assistant and train them on the tasks that you are delegating. If you'd like to learn more, about how you can improve your RTO, then listen up. There are two paths that you could take from this point forward. Path one 
You could try and navigate recruiting your own RTO VA, hiring a virtual assistant for your team, spending six to 12 months training your virtual assistants in all of the compliance requirements, providing ongoing training to ensure your VA is compliant with the standards, stumble your way through getting your VA to work effectively with your RTO, waste time and money trying to get it right and end up getting stressed and overwhelmed. But what's the real cost of doing this alone? Months and months of time and energy wasted, putting your RTO at risk of non-compliance, wasting time and money trying to do this all by yourself, losing focus and momentum, not working on your business. Path two, outsource your RTO VA. Save time and money by outsourcing your RTO administration tasks. Feel confident that your outsourced team understands compliance without the fear of losing newly trained virtual assistants. Grow and scale your RTO without the stress of RTO administration. Smart RTOs get the best team on their side. So I'd love to introduce to you the Vivacity team. This is a team that we have been training about how to do everything in the back end of your RTO. They've been learning for the last six months how to write training and assessment strategies, delivery and assessment plans, trainers matrices, developing PowerPoint presentations, as well as industry consultation and student management systems. We've been training them and they're in the Philippines. They've been trained by the team at Vivacity focusing on how you can grow and scale your RTO, we can take care of the back end, saving you money on training and recruitment of your RTO administration team, keeping you um, on top of all of your compliance requirements. We have a number of services available. We can write training and assessment strategies, do your presentation designs, social media marketing that is compliant with the standards for RTOs, as well as graphic design, getting all your flyers and marketing up to date and looking and uh, looking really good and easy to read. Uh, we can also do your editing of your videos and your podcasts, as well as all the back end requirements of your student management system. We're currently using uh, Accelerate, and all of our team have gone through master training in Accelerate and have extensive skills on how to use Accelerate. So how it works, you submit your request through your online portal. Our team gets started on the task and you are updated on the progress. First draft is then completed and we provide it to you for review. And then we repeat this process until a final is complete. This is what our portal looks like. So we have a portal that where you as a client can log in and you can submit your requests through this portal. And as you can see, we have a lot of different tasks that our VAs can do for you. What you do is you complete a form, they will take the data that's in that form and then go create your documents. We have helped more than 300 RTOs just like yours around Australia. In Vivacity RTO Coaching and Consulting, we've been helping our members, in uh, looking after their RTO on an ongoing basis, as well as doing training around the industry in compliance and business development. We've also been doing uh, audits and we've audited over 300 RTOs or attended more than 300 RTO audits. We have a service that suits your requirements, whether it's 40 hours, 80 hours or 120 hours per month whatever your needs are, no matter what your size of your RTO. Packages start from as little as $495 per month, which is so much less than a part-time employee in Australia. Do you have more questions? Would you like to learn more? Well, you can book a discovery call with Dave who can answer all of those questions you may have about the Vivacity team and how we can support you within your RTO. Want to learn more about what uh, is the Vivacity team and what is the RTO administration outsourcing that we can offer? Well, go to our website, vivacity.team 
and learn more about how we can help you. Thank you very much for attending the training today. I look forward to catching up with you soon and learning more about you and your RTO.